aluchoka. It's a Trini form of uh, well alu pies, if you want to call it like that. It's just you, you can eat it with roti or with rice. So in the first picture that you saw, I had like two potatoes, and the two potatoes I cleaned, washed, sliced in half, and put it to boil. So when it's about like really soft like this, I took it off and peeled off the skin, right? Um, these are the seasoning that is chopped, as you had seen in the first photo. And now we're actually going to make this. So what we're going to do is that we're going to mash this up into like a very nice soft mesh, right? So I'll show you all when it's not finished meshing this up. Alright, and this is how it looks when it's already mashed. So now I'm going to put a frying pan on the pot and I'm going to add at least two tablespoons of vegetable oil. Alright, once the vegetable oil has been added, just wait for it to get a little heated up. You will see that little bubbles are now forming. Alright, so once you see like little bubbles form or if you see like heat is coming out of the pan, you're going to throw in your chopped vegetables in the mix. Okay. You're going to give that a little super. Now you can add tomatoes and stuff if you like in this. However, I'm not adding no tomatoes. Um, the serving is for one. By the way, so if you need to add tomatoes, just use like half of a tomato or like one small tomato, right? So you're going to wait until this gets a little soft, but not too brown. Okay, because you know, it's a two, because it has to be a little stiff. Okay, so now I am going to add my mashed potatoes into that all right so now i'm gonna cook this up fry it up a little bit you guys really nice aroma don't forget to add your salt and black pepper to taste you can also add like your po your powdered seasoning all right so what i usually add in this is the maggie's cube garlic and onion and a little bit of paprika like a teaspoon of the paprika this however is optional all right there i have added my cube and a little bit of paprika and i'm just going to mix this up so simmer on a low heat for around 30 seconds and you're done and that is how you make your potato cooker just ensure that your powder seasonings are well mixed up and keep turning because it will stick to the pan because you will not want your potato well your aloo sugar too oily but you want it moist enough to eat Right, so I hope you all enjoy this video. And that's it.